Hello and welcome to my channel, my name is Prince of Beautifully and this is Ebo Made Easy. Now, here we're going to begin a step-by-step -step guide to using Igbo language conversationally. We are tying together everything you've learned isolatedly and making it into something that you can begin to use to make conversations in Igbo language. Some of these you may be familiar with and some of them would be totally new to you in every unit we'll be introducing. So, this is the first unit and we're going to be looking at breaking the eyes, breaking the eyes. And in breaking the eyes, what we are looking at here is the first things we say to different kinds of people at different times of the day in formal and informal settings when we meet them either individually or in groups. Secondly, we're going to be learning how to respond when we are the receiving end of all these greetings. And lastly, we're going to be learning some formal and informal ways to address people in Igbo language. Now look at this. What would you say in these situations? One, you walk into your dentist's office. What's the first thing you say to him? And what if you pick a phone call from your big sister? What's the first thing you say to her? And what if you run into your uncle in the morning? What's the first thing you say to him? So far, we have three scenarios that have three different things that you have to say to these people. None of them is the same. I would invite you at this point to consider joining the channel membership if you'd like to have access to my lesson notes, PDFs with downloadable audio, quiz, flashcards, and more. Check out my Instagram handle and follow the one minute videos that I upload there. So now we're here. And the first one we'll be learning is Ndewo. Ndewo. Ndewo is hello and Ndewo is hi. We'll be using this word a lot in breaking the ice in Igbo language. So repeat after me. Ndewo. 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 Next, we have Kedu. Kedu. And that's like saying what's up. So say ke do again. Ke do. Now say it ke do. Next we have ibolachi. Ibolachi. Ibolachi is good morning. Repeat after me. E bo la chi. Ibolachi. Again, Ibolachi. And that is good morning. Next we have Ehihioma. Ehihie. O. Ma. Ehihioma. Again, Ehihioma. Next we have abalioma a ba le o ma abalioma and lastly we have no no say mm. no Mm. No. So that is no. No. And that is your welcome. Now, over here, we're going to see the responses that we can give when we are at the receiving end of any of these greetings. For Ndewo, we'll just simply say Ndewo back. So that's pretty straightforward. Now, for Kedu, the response to Kedu is Odema. Say O. D. M. Ma. Again. O. D. M. Ma. And that would be O de ma. Again. O de ma. O de ma is fine. Literally mean it is fine. But it just means fine. Now, after that we have. Ibolachi. 
Ebola chi. Ebola chi. The response to it is Ebola. E. Bo. La. E. Bo. La. So. Ebola. And you can also say Ndewo as a response to Ebola chi. Now we have a hihyama, and the response to hihyama pretty straightforward. A hihyama, or you can also say ndewo. Next we have abalioma, and the response is still abalioma, or you can simply say ndewo. And lastly we have no, and you can say ndewo. Now, um, when you are using ndewo as a response to Ebola, chi, a hihyama, abalioma, and no. It doesn't mean hi, like we saw here. Ndewo means hello, hi. So you are not saying hello, hi as a response. Rather, you are saying thank you. You are saying something like you're welcome and all of that. Um, it's on the last slide and I will give you all the other meanings of Ndewo. Okay, now we're coming to the plural forms and we're going to be looking at the plural forms of both the greetings and responses. On the bold font, we have the greetings. On the light fonts, we have the responses. So, ndewo becomes ndewonu on both sides. Ndewonu and ndewonu is the plural response. Now, the plural form for kedu is kedunu. Kedunu. And the plural form of odema is still odema. But here we are having any Dimma. Just in case someone says Keduno to you, that would require you to say Ani Dimma. When they are saying Keduno, it no longer becomes exactly Kedu. It becomes how are you guys doing? And for that, you're going to say we are fine. Unabolachi is the plural of Ebolachi. So say Unu. Abola Chi. Now, Ebola becomes unu. Abola unu. Abola una abola. Ehihioma becomes ehihioma no in plural form. Ehihioma no. And the same thing we have ehihioma no. Then abalioma becomes abalioma no. Abalioma no. And the same thing abalioma no. No becomes no no. No no. And we've already seen the plural form of ndewo. It is ndewo no. Now we have ngokim. We have ngokim. Ngokim is your male body or a younger male person you are friendly with or a male person you are angry at. So you hear people like say, Mokim, get out of here when they're angry. So these are the different meanings of Mokim. Depending on the tone of your voice, it can be um, a term of friendliness or a term used when provoked. It's like saying man and dude. You can say those um, in a friendly way and also in an angry way. Same thing with Mwanyi and Mwanya. Moke literally means man. Mokim literally means my man. Mwanyi literally means woman. Wanya literally means this woman. And that is um, usually said to a married or mature woman. Or you can also say to your wife. Or a woman married into the family. Married into your extended family. Or um, a fellow woman. Or an old woman with whom you share a bond. Wanya. Wanya. The next one we have is ne. Ne. This is not the same as ne. Ne is mother. Ne has a different tone. And ne is a female person you consider a dear. Um, it's also a younger female person. Term of endearment for a younger female person. And also like a peer, your friend. You know, you can say ne. That's like babe, dear. So that is how to use ne. And you hear a lot of, if you watch a lot of Nollywood, you hear a lot of um, gossip buddies 
start off a gossip with ne if you see what happened today so these are the kind of people you address as ne next we have na na so na is a male friend a peer younger male person term of endearment for younger male person so na is like your bro your man and all of that next to that we have enya enya is um something you say to a friend or a disregarded older person when you say enya to someone who is older than you you are disrespecting them so enya is like your buddy your friend yeah next we have de and de 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 or de de is literally uncle right is something you say to a respected older male person and it's about the equivalent of the word sir same thing for da and da 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 is um, literally an aunt and is used to address a respected older female person about equivalent of a uh, ma now for de and da you don't use it on your father or mother or father-in-law or mother-in-law it can be disrespectful you know like i'm supposed to be a mother you're calling me aunt that kind of a thing then the last one um one ne one ne one ne is bro and sis and you may hear something like one ne one ne so um these are the informal ways to address people why this is important is when you want to break the ice with someone you may want to say nekedu or you may want to say mokem ndewo or mokem ebolachi enya no you know de ututuoma or de ehihioma so these are the ways we use these titles and this is why it's important for you to learn them because you're going to be using them a lot now for the formal titles we have maze 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 is about the equivalent of mr then we have oriako and odoziako now it was originally oriako hmm? but some women later changed it to odoziako oriako means wealth eater and it almost felt like um not a gold digger but like a woman who doesn't contribute but consumes so women said they prefer to be called odozi ako odozi ako is um one who keeps wealth manages wealth you know arranges wealth a keeper of wealth so like um a bookkeeper so this one is like a wealth keeper odozi ako so they prefer to use odozi ako as the word for missus so you would have something like if your husband was john you will hear something like odoziako john and that is like mrs john so you have oriako chimezie that is like mrs chimezie so this is these are the words we used for mrs in Igbo language oriako and odoziako now we have wada 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 is about the equivalent of miss. So Wada plus her first name. And that is how you call a woman who is single. Now Wada, um, there's a kind of technicality to it in a way that even it can apply broadly by extension to every woman born in a particular place, you know, in a particular to a particular community, whether they are married or single and all of that. But mainly it is used to address miss, a single woman. Next, we have Ichie. Ichie is a chief, a titled chief. And after Ichie, we have Onyenze. Onyenze is someone with the other title. It's about the equivalent of a knight in Igbo culture. You can look up Nze na Ozo. It's the highest title, kind of, in Igbo. Just like think of a knight. The knight of camelot so these these are like the knights of Igbo. they are the custodian of culture and all of that don't want to bore you with the details but you can look all of that up then we have law 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 is a chief's wife 
and we are about to come to the end of this course but this is where i tie everything together for you now when you're greeting your uncles and your aunts right um those ndewo and ebolachi and all the other greetings we learned you can't say it to them without adding de for male or da for female the plural form if you want to greet women who are older than you hello you will say da nde wonu now what if it's a mixed group of men and women who are older than you there is no gender free um, respect word that you can put in front and greet all of them and you can't greet them with a the masculine form you have to greet them separately so you say de nde wonu da nde wonu now using plural form you have to be very careful because um when you're greeting your biological uncles and aunts you must greet them individually if i had two uncles seated and three aunts seated and i met them in the morning and i wanted to say good morning to them i would say something like de ibolachi de ibolachi da ibolachi da ibolachi da ibolachi facing each one of them when i am saying the greeting to them and i mean i might even add some curtsy um gestures like maybe bending a little bowing my head a little and all of that so these are the ways you want to address uncles and aunts and people older than you when you are talking to your siblings and your friend like your really good friends you want to say kedu to them so if i'm talking to my sister i'll say ne kedu and that's like babe what's up you know and if i'm talking to my friend i say nya kedu and that's like dude how far what's up and hello hi to them so kedu is what you use for those people and when you're breaking the ice with them so you can put the person's name john kedu and the person will say odima kedu and if you want to greet them plural you will say keduno to them like your friends hey na keduno and they will say i need them we are fine now what about kids and people younger than you we don't exactly say hello hi to children except in formal setting in an informal setting use kedu with them we have here na kedu remember na is a term of endearment for younger male person also so na kedu is how you can ask the little boy how are you doing how's it going and he can say odima then you have umwaka keduno when they are plural when they are more than one kids umwaka umwaka is children umwaka keduno and they can say any dema we are fine now i told you that um towards the last slide i'm gonna show you all the things that you can do with ndewo um when i told you you can use ndewo to answer for um when someone says good morning to you you can say ebola to them or you can say ndewo now this is why ndewo is hello and hi but ndewo is also thank you so when someone pays a compliment to you like we saw in the beginning you would say ndewo to them then ndewo is your welcome right ndewo is your welcome if someone says pays a compliment to you and you say ndewo to them they can respond to you and say ndewo and your ndewo means thank you but their ndewo means you're welcome um ndewo also means greetings they will um can be used to say good afternoon good evening uh, like i explained in the book in the pdf right there is um, a greeting that is best described as a greeting so let's do a quick review again same things we saw earlier what would you say in these scenarios one you walk into your dentist's office what's the first thing you would say you would say and they will this is an and they will situation now you pick up a phone call from your big sis mm -hmm. big sis that is kedu you can call her ne kedu you can call her name and say kedu right mm -hmm. okay now you run into your uncle in the morning what do you say um the greeting for morning is a bolachi and we say for uncles and aunts you'd have to say something exactly de ebolachi okay what do you say when you want to say hi to your niece and nephew over the phone that is kedu if you're talking to them one after the other or keduno if the phone is on loudspeaker and they're all hearing you 
so Kaduna. Okay, um, now the, number five, what do you say to the cab driver when he pulls up in front of you? Mm -hmm. The cab driver, even if he's your mate, he's like he's not like your buddy, like your friend, or so it's an Ndewo. That is an Ndewo situation. Um, the receptionist at the hotel, your guess is right. Ndewo. Ndewo. Um someone who's paid you compliment. Mm -hmm. We just saw it now. Ndewo is thank you. So Ndewo. And your dad and mom when you return home in the evening. You're thinking of the plural for good evening. That is abaliomano. Uh huh. Okay. Good. Remember the thing we said about you don't greet your uncles in group. You don't greet your aunts in group when they are biologically related to you. Now it's even more so for your parents. You greet them individually. So you will say something like papa, abaliomano, mama, abaliomano. Or whatever you call your dad, mpa, ma. This is how to break the ice with literally anyone. And I have shown you the titles, informal and formal. You can look them over again. Go through this lesson as many times as you need. And I will encourage you to consider joining the membership after you've subscribed and taking notification. 